you very much. Marie, if I can ask you to follow that lead. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Party leader, chairperson, parliamentary colleagues, delegates, media, and distinguished guests. Is on all more than fault of creaker if got in a Kalana looked, could the Kogana shoot a party and look Gibra. It gives me great pleasure to deliver the opening address at this Labour Party conference and to welcome my parliamentary colleagues and delegates from all over the country to my hometown of Killarney. At this point, I once again want us all to remember my dear colleague, Senator Jimmy Hart, who I understand is doing very well and slowly making a good recovery. I know he would love to be with us tonight. It is the second time that I have had the honour of extending a Cade Mead of Fault to you delegates to Kerry for what is a very important opportunity for the party to discuss, to debate, to regroup and to organise. It is a great privilege for the constituency of Kerry to host this conference. The county is no stranger to hosting Labour Party conferences over the years, whether that be in Tralee or in Killarney, and I am sure that this weekend will be a similar success. As you know, this is a wonderful venue and provides us with a perfect space in which to conduct our business. Four years ago last Wednesday, the people of Ireland went to the polls and gave the Labour Party and Fine Gael a mandate to form government. They did so in the expectation that our two parties would clean up the mess which the previous government had left behind. The people entrusted us the power to govern and to govern effectively in their interest. I firmly believe we have achieved much over the course of those four years. The primary task facing us as a government was to bring about economic recovery and stability, but a recovery which all of our citizens must be able to share in. I think it is fair to say that we have achieved a lot so far, and that is something which is ongoing and which requires a greater resolve as we enter the final phase of this coalition government. It is important that the voters are reminded of the state this country was in when we came to power and the remarkable improvements that have occurred since, however slowly and steadily that has been achieved as we face into a general election, this message must be clearly defined. But the people will also expect to hear what we will do if we are given the opportunity to serve in government again. They will want to hear a detailed set of proposals from the Labour Party about what we will do with the economic recovery and how we will use it to ensure that every citizen, especially those who are least well off, sees the benefit in their own pockets and in their own households. I want to acknowledge the challenges we have faced since our last conference, particularly at local and European elections. In the local authority elections in particular, we lost many fine public representatives, but I am confident that they will come again in the years ahead and return to serving the party and the people they represent. The electorate, the electorate punished the Fianna Fáil party in the last general election for the mess they had created, and they punished us in the local elections for taking measures to clean up that mess. Since we met here last, we have seen many changes within the Labour Party. The loss of many excellent councillors and MEPs. We elected a new party leader and a new deputy leader. We have new Labour faces in Cabinet and we also have a new General Secretary. They are all working hard together to deliver on our Labour Party policies. But every single delegate in this room and everyone in the party, the length and breadth of this country, has a role to play in selling Labour's message on the doorsteps at the next general election. We might not have got everything absolutely right, but we have managed to bring our country back from the brink of economic ruin. What we must now do is put before the people a detailed plan which will set out how all our citizens can share in our economic recovery. So over the course of this weekend, let us set out our message to the people of Ireland, a message of delivering fairness, equality and reform as the economic situation begins to improve once more. We have a lot to be proud of after four years in government, but we must do more to engage with the electorate 
who have borne the brunt of many traumatic and bleak years. Delegates, can I invite you to take the time out of your busy schedule this weekend to enjoy what Killarney has to offer? Thankfully, both Killarney and Kerry have had the best tourist season in 2014 than it's had in many a year. But we must all play our part. So go out there, guys, and uh, spend your money in this wonderful town and enjoy what thank we have to offer. Thank you. Thank you. For, finally, I want to wish everyone a very engaging and fruitful weekend. And let the message go out to those who gleefully rub their hands and say that the Labour Party will be, will be wiped out that we are the Labour Party. We are 100 years old. We're not going anywhere, and we're here to stay. Thank you.